The Brutex Navy issue is a faction battle cruiser that is easily one of the most fucking ugly ships in EVE. Seriously just look at it. But luckily the Brutex Navy comes with a paper bag over its fucking face with its space camo. Despite its terrible looks, it is the complete opposite in terms of power and effectiveness. The Brutex Navy is a very good brawler and usually its forte. Fit a full ruse cruise tank and watch as the hull never goes down. And when the enemy realizes their mistake you pound them relentlessly with 750 dps and keep pounding them until they are dead because you sexually identify as a blaster brawler and you want to shoot hot anti-matter loads on unsuspecting balance legion pilots but what if you don't sexually identify as a blaster brawler then you're in luck the brutex navy is just as good as a kitter as well as a brawler but the brutex navy lives in a meter where fucking colon cancer looks more fun and exciting than what we have now. Do not fly this ship if you have no fucking idea about how tracking works, otherwise the next interceptor you will come across will make you very fucking sad. The ugly duckling camo issue can fit exciting gameplay mechanics on itself. The train fallings are actually fucking retarded. After 6 months of finally finding the leadership skill in the new character sheet, train them if you want to start using battle cruisers. Since off-grid boosts got kebabbed harder than I want ISK, the bully navy issue has fucking sick tracking. If you drop the drop booster you can track everything, literally everything. But remember you can't track interceptors if they have a good orbit on you. But what if you have no skill, want to have shit tons of tank, and have crazy fucking range? Just use a mag, since it's both cheaper, faster and has more tank. But if you are good, want to support the team with quick thrusting actions at the enemy, and quick scope the enemy with your 650 dps railguns, this is a ship for you. There are some downsides to the ugly duckling, it is a battle cruiser still, it is still slow and fat, battleship weapons will eat you for fucking breakfast, and don't even get me started on carriers and hicks. You will get balanced harder than CCP's way of dealing with legacy code, but with the new changes to links, they can still fuck shit up. Here is how you fit your mother. You fit 250mm railguns. Or blasters if you want to roleplay channel Zavarks. The standard tackle and prop mod in the mids. For the lows you go triple max stab for maximum deeps cause you don't give a fuck. You practically gave away the fucks you gave before you flew this ship anyway. An AAR for some sustain and a nanofiber because you don't want to be slow and ugly at the same time. For the rigs I go dual locus because lol sniping and a power grid rig. Now go out there and show them your true beauty from 40 kilometers away. 